Hello friends, welcome to the Automation Revolution. Uh, in this video, we will learn how we can configure historical data or data logging system in SCADA. So first question is what is historical data? So when uh, any analog signal uh, which is coming from a different sensor or transmitter uh, from uh, SCADA, we are taking that signal to, uh, for monitoring and controlling. So if you want to store this data uh, for future application or for analysis, so you can store this data in historical file. So that that is the data logging. So we are ultimately storing the data information in particular file wise or some in database. So now let's see how we can uh, configure this historical or data logging in SCADA system. So here, here you can see I have configured this S7300 PLC uh, in Siemens TI portal. And from this program block uh, you can see uh, I have uh, taken a scaling block and I am getting this data from IW15 and I have made a scaling for this analog signal and ultimately I am getting uh, this analog an alarm tag in MD100 and uh, here I have configured digital alarm so I am getting this alarm from this bit so when this M20.0 bit will trigger I will get alarm in SCADA screen so first I have uh, configured alarm for alarm logging and for data storage you can uh, use these different types of analog signals now we will go for uh, in SCADA screen so here I have taken uh, WinCC RT advance and in WinCC RT advance uh, we will go for this historical data so here is the option so just click on historical data so you can see uh, two types of uh, tab is there first one is data log and alarm log so if you want to store the data for any analog signal uh, temperature pressure or different uh, analog signal without scaling or with scaling so you can uh, generate this file here in data log and if you want to store the data for analog signal uh, sorry uh, for the alarm so first you need to uh, make alarm configuration in uh, plc scada and then we can log the data for alarm so first if you not uh, able to make this alarm configuration the first we see our video previous video so in and that video you will get how we can uh, make configuration for this alarms uh, different types of digital and uh, analog alarm we have uh, made in previous video so please watch previous video so we will get uh, the detailed information and uh, now i will just click on this data log so this uh, file will be generated and uh, this is the different file location so you can store this file in different format like in ascii format if you want to store in database you can select database and uh, some text file so i will uh, as of now i will just select csv file this data record you can uh, say up to 500 and uh, you can change this data record if you want to further this is the path location so here uh, you can give the path so I will just select this computer and then see uh, file I have made already this data log folder here you can assign this one and uh, this is the data source mode this logging mo method uh, if you want to log this data with circular log or uh, display the system event at circular log so when some bit will trigger that that time this data will log but if you want to log this circular circular log then you can select here then enable logging at runtime startup so when uh, this screen will be uh, in runtime th then and only this data will be logged uh, for that and downside uh, we have locking tags so from which tag uh, we want to store the data that we will uh, assign here so here uh, it will take name automatically and uh, this process tag I will assign here so this you will get this HMI tag table and PLC tag table so from the PLC tag table I will uh, take MD100 and this acquisition mode I will take cyclic so it will change cyclically and I will take the logging cycle one second 
so within one second this data will be stored stored cyclically uh, in the file here is the high limit and low limit uh, so you can store the data uh, because analog signal is continuously coming so you can store the data within limit that and you know, within uh, within dead band or outside dead band so i will uh, make for constant if you want to change the limit uh, from the scada or any hmi uh, screen so you can go for this hmi tag so this input output field you can uh, assign an hmi tag so i will make constant so i want to uh, log this data uh, within 50 to 17 limit so sorry i will assign here 17 this is the low limit will be uh, 50 i will assign and here you can uh, set the dead band so i want this lo uh, data logging within uh, this dead band and if you want outside dead band you select so this data will be stored outside of the 70 and 50s uh, this value limit so we'll select within dead band here you can make comment also if you want then for alarm log you can generate this alarm log file here and uh, same for this data logging i will also select csv file path i will assign the same path for data logging also so here data log i have assigned then log event text different types of the settings you can make and here also i have enabled uh, when we are going for runtime then only this alarm logging will start now uh, one second uh, settings we need to do in alarm so whatever alarm we have configured in uh, this alarm group so go for this alarm class and uh, which alarm class you have uh, configured for that uh, we will assign this log file here so here just click on that log and uh, this log file which we have created in uh, logging that we will assign here so when uh, this error types of alarm class will uh, generate alarm so, so this file automatically will store the data uh, in that particular file now uh, i will first show you in C uh, folder, in data uh, data uh, data log folder, there is no any file. But when we will go for this runtime, these two types of file will be generated. First one is data logging, and uh, second one is for alarm logging file. After when we will go in runtime, that time we will uh, get this uh, data logging file. So now uh, I will download this program in PLC. So this bit I will uh, use for alarm generation and this uh, analog signal we will uh, use for this data logging method now we will go for this runtime and uh, we will go in alarm so now you can see this analog alarm already generated as uh, this is the global screen and this one, this one is uh, uh, this alarm screen now i am enabling uh, this digital alarm this temperature range uh, is also storing in a database file because we have say, set this limit uh, uh, 50 and 70 so between this uh, range we will uh, get this file once again this alarm cam and uh, now now i am enabling this digital alarm so this is the digital alarm once again i will acknowledge now i will exit this runtime option so now we will check uh, in c uh, data log so you can see uh, two types of file generated and that's it that, that is the data logging now i will uh, open this file so here you can see uh, 
this is uh, time in millisecond and uh, message classes message number this alarm text uh, if you want that we will get from this text and this date and time wise uh, we will get this alarm so you can change this uh, reporting format if you want so from reporting uh, you can change this format and uh, this is the data log you can see uh, we have made this limit uh, 50 and uh, 17 so uh, 50 and 70 uh, we are getting this value so for the particular for one uh, one second it is updating in this file so this data we are getting in uh, logging file so this is how you can uh, store the data for uh, analog signal or for any uh, any, uh, any alarm generation and you can use this file for future evolution and uh, some, some maintenance or troubleshooting for the system so thank you very much uh, for watching our video Thank you.